Hi everyone, welcome to module 10 of Useful Genetics. We we're going to be thinking about how chromosomes change. And fundamentally, chromosomes change, genomes change, and it's driven by errors. Natural selection selects for doing things right, for faithful replication. But errors creep in and create all kinds of problems. It seems like everybody who's playing a role messes up sometimes. So what kinds of things could go wrong? Well, lots of things. Mitosis can go wrong. DNA repair can go wrong. Meiosis can go wrong. Lots of things you'll see can go wrong. And we're going to catalog almost all of them. We'll start with the phenomenon of polyploidy, um, coming to have more than one, more than the normal copies of the genome, so more than diploidy. Um, triploidy and tetraploidy primarily. We'll talk about aneuploidy, situations where organisms have incomplete sets of chromosomes. In humans, it's mostly having one extra copy of a chromosome, but in some cases, it's having one less copy than we should have. We'll talk about chromosome rearrangements, which are ubiquitous. They're constantly happening for many different reasons, and they can cause a number of reproductor, reproductive problems and um, health problems. We'll talk about smaller changes in the genome, which we're only now developing the techniques to realize how common they are. We'll talk about the phenomenon of selfish DNA, of DNA that can increase copies of itself within the genome, and then we'll go on to think about genome evolution, how chromosomes change, and how genome duplications have affected our own evolutionary history. Now, at the same time, you'll be doing the last of our peer explain assignments, assignment D. As before, you're to write a 200-word explanation of a genetics question couched in language that ordinary people can understand. You'll need to submit it by the end of module 10 here and then you'll enter into the training and evaluation phase where you'll practice evaluating other submissions before evaluating ones submitted by your peers and that'll be finished at the end of module 11. All in all it shouldn't take you much more than two hours to do this assignment. Coming up next is lecture 10a where we're going to talk about ploidy. I hope to see you there.